Dr. Shalala, on behalf of the American Society of Blood and Marrow Transplantation, it is a true privilege and honor to bestow you with the Public Service Award. You deserve this award because of all the work you have done in promoting health research, in supporting hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, particularly access to health care for children with hematologic disorders, access to novel areas of bone marrow transplantation, core blood transplantation. Because of you, we are able to transplant more people than we've ever been able to transplant before. On behalf of us and our patients, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sergio. And thank you to the Executive Committee of the American Society for Blood and Marrow Transplant for this Public Service Award. It's a great honor. I'm sorry that I can't be with you at the annual conference, but I want to talk for a few minutes about this award and about the importance of your research. Throughout my career, I have seen how research can make an enormous difference, creating a seismic shift in some fields. To initiate these changes that transform lives in any arena, we have to be willing to be bold and make a significant investment. For that to happen, we need to envision a world several years down the road when the investment will pay off with treatments that save lives. This has certainly been the case in the field of blood and marrow transplant. Without a dramatic infusion of funding, the research that so many of you have led could never have taken place, and the field would not be where it is now. All of you at this conference have my congratulations for your work over the years, which has saved countless lives. I include, of course, our own Dr. Krishna Komanduri, the head of Sylvester's Cancer Center's Adult Stem Cell Program, under the outstanding leadership of Sylvester Director Dr. Stephen Nimer. Research is a team effort and everyone has an important role. It's imperative that those of us with a voice constantly push for research that will improve healthcare delivery and outcomes. I wanna say a few things about that research and about the kind of commitment this country needs to make. Years ago, I went to Japan um, and I went to visit a, a very interesting garden, one of those extraordinary Japanese gardens it belonged to the prime minister. And I said to him afterwards, could I take your garden and your gardener back to Wisconsin? He said to get a garden this beautiful, you will need my gardener and probably 50 years. That's the story of America's great research enterprise. It's fragile and the need for all of us to commit ourselves and this country to again double our investment in basic science, in applied research, and in particular in the kind of clinical work this country needs is what I believe is the imperative for the next decade. I applaud all of you, all of you who work in this field and for your commitment and for your passion. Thank you again for this wonderful award and good evening. <laughs>